The first five weapons, you must choose the bat darts, although he can only fire one bullet. It has an ejection effect. It was very easy to deal with the small aircraft and battleships in the early days. Destroying enemies drop stars, which can be used to purchase equipment in supply ships or to upgrade skills. Here I'm attaching a Spitfire secondary to my fighter. It's capable of firing a steady stream of fire from either side of our aircraft to strafe the enemy back and forth can very well improve our aircraft group output capability. Unfortunately, the range and duration of the Spitfire secondary gun were very short at first, and it was difficult to exert its maximum power, but give him an upgrade in a supply ship, and it'll make all the difference. As you can see, the range of the Spitfire secondary has obviously been greatly improved, and the size of the bat darts and the number of projectiles has also been increased and the strength of this bullet directly kills any enemy in the early stages. But this is not the most exaggerated. When we raise the weapon level to full level, you can also unlock super weapons. You see, the Super Spitfire secondary can fire to floating cannons that continuously spray flames 360 degrees, which can greatly suppress the enemy's living space. And the Super Bat Darts are even more outrageous after hitting the enemy. It can split into many small bat darts and continue to attack nearby enemies. This power is simply terrible. Now, as soon as the enemy appears, it will be covered with my terrible fire. No enemy can survive my fierce fire. The ultimate boss is a giant fighter plane that's covered in my spiral flames as soon as it appears. Subsequently, the super bat darts directly split into numerous small darts dealing a devastating blow to them. Finally, I even started the super kill of the fighter, launched countless green bullets with tracking effects, and it was very easy to destroy it. The game is in the lower left corner. Don't rush to try.